My name is Elena, and I'm one of the organizers of the Build Peace Conference. We bring together peacebuilding practitioners, academics, technologists, artists, and peace activists to discuss the role of technology in building peace. At this year's Build Peace Conference, we asked, when we talk about building peace through technology, who decides what that means? Whose behavior are we changing? Who's being empowered to do what? And who decides what constitutes impact? Coming to an event um, that has so many committed people that is global, um, that has ideas that, that are diverse, um, is, is invaluable. things that we know about technology is that it changes in unpredictable ways. Every single day you hear or read another story about the way technology is being used to either promote conflict or to promote peace building. What we have seen in the past couple of years is that the theories haven't really matched to grasp the incredible growth in the use of technology in conflict transformation processes. Peace building is a long difficult process and rather than just saying well technology is going to fix everything, it's how we embed technology properly in our business. So it is changing the way, not only necessarily that technology is working at alert, but it is changing the sector again. It's, 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 it's so important that we, that we embrace it and we, and we take use of the opportunity. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's changing and shaping the, the role almost on a daily basis. For whom, by whom, brings in the table an interface, which is the technology. The technology, uh, I think one can define it that it's any kind of means that can allow us to project into the future new possibilities of, of uh, coexistences. Communities who have known only violence and known only a future that is also possibly violent can now have the audacity to hope, vision, design, architect and imagine something better, stronger and more meaningful for their children and for them in their lifetimes. I'm confident that uh, technology can help uh, a lot in uh, building peace. By whom? By us. For whom? For the people. Uh, it, it, it means empowering the people that we're trying to help so, they f so that they find their own solutions for themselves. Um, it means that we become better at, um, at listening and understanding uh, and not at dictating our own uh, way um, uh, of wanting things to be. It means that we have to meet people where they are um, and take it from there. I would be really excited if the future of peace building, if it didn't exist at all as a field, I have to admit, because I'd rather have peace. Thank you.